Ebony Watching. I'm Penny, and this is Lighthearted Life and Collectibles with Full Body Silicone Baby Kylo, who is George by Kathy Romero Viscuti, and he was reborn by prototype artist Sandra Stanley of Dolls by Sandra Stanley Art. So he is going to be who we focus on today while I talk about my topic, which is that box opening high. And also the question of how long has it been since I bought a new doll? So I just want to talk about that and change him into a cute little outfit that my stepson's girlfriend Robin got Kylo for Christmas while we are talking about everything. So I'm going to start showing you these cute little socks. They're white and baby blue with little elephants. And then the little top is cream with brown, black, and baby blue polka dots. And then it's trimmed in baby blue. And then it has a baby blue elephant with brown ear and stitching. And then these little pants are baby blue with an elephant on the butt. And the little elephant is the polka dot material that the shirt's made out of. And of course, the shirt is long sleeves. Keep him nice and warm. And then it has a hat. Although I'm not going to put the hat on him because I have been having hats on him. And the outfit I took off of him, the little H&M outfit, had a hat. And then the one before that had a hat. So I'm going to let him go without a hat for a little bit. Um, just so I don't mat his hair up. And so I'm going to spray this down with some Oh Baby. And let it dry for just a few minutes. Jewel Darling makes this stuff and it smells so good. So, and I can finally smell today. I've been sick and had no smell. So, um, I can finally smell. It smells so good. So, we're just going to let that sit and dry. Put that on there. And so, we're going to talk about that new baby box opening, huh? I'm going to put some of this on Kylo's hair because I started working on it, but I'm going to work on it a little bit more because it started out I was just going to change him and put him in this outfit for Robin to see him and then I was like you know what I'm going to make a video and this is still the same day as the video that you saw with Summer yesterday but um, I'm just uploading these videos on a different day so I'm just kind of making up some content while I feel good and um well, I think saying feeling good is a little to the extreme. I feel better. <laughs> Don't feel good. I'm still all choked up and all that. But um, I just wanted to go ahead and make some videos while I was feeling better. So there's Kylo's little hair all fixed up so cute. But I want to talk about that box opening high. I know y'all have noticed that I have not gotten new babies in a really long time. Um... For one reason, you know, this past year has been, like, financially not that great. But even before that, I had slowed down a whole lot on buying a bunch of new dolls. Because I came to the conclusion that um, I was buying dolls just to buy dolls. Just for that box opening highlight, like, just to get that new baby in. Just to see what's coming up next, you know. I don't know about y'all, but, you know, it was borderline an obsession with me. It really was. So, I can't speak for anyone but myself. So, in this video, I will be speaking for myself only. And if you relate, then that's, you know, fine. But please don't think that I'm speaking on anybody in the community when I talk about these things. Because I am talking about myself. So, yeah, um... There was a while when I always wanted, you know, I was just constantly buying new babies. And this was years ago, like, I was, it was new baby, new baby, new baby, new baby, you know. And I would barely get one baby bought and paid for till I was looking at the next. I mean, it, it was to the point to where, like, my artist would finish my baby and send me the completed pictures and then she'd be like, okay, I'm going to go put this in the mail. And I would have my tracking number to that baby and I was hadn't even gotten it yet. And I was already looking at the next, the next one. Wh who can I buy next? What doll sculpt can I get next? Like, it was that bad, y'all. I'm not even kidding. Like, 
I was constantly wanting that new baby all the time. And I mean, I know that when it comes to being obsessed with things, that being obsessed with baby dolls can be one of the most benign things that you could be obsessed with. But, you know, um, that can also become not benign. You know, like, I feel like if I would have just allowed myself to keep going with that obsession that I had, you know, it, it would have maybe turned into something not benign, like, you know, buying a doll instead of paying a bill or something. Like, I felt like it could have led to that. Not saying it would have. But, you know, it was just like, I kind of recognized, I was like, you know, I've got this new doll that's on its way, and I haven't even opened it yet, and I'm already looking for the next best thing. Like, I mean, I caught myself doing that, and I just had to reel myself in because um, I was becoming obsessed. I was. I was just obsessed with scrolling through McPherson's or Irresistibles, looking at the sneak peeks, looking at the, you know, what's new, what's coming next, blah, 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 blah. You know, like I was always doing that. And I was always on Facebook, you know, scrolling on there, seeing what new baby I could find next or whatever. It was to the point to where that's all I ever did almost. You know, it was like... um even when I was out places, like, say if I had to take my mom to the doctor or whatever, while I'm waiting on her to get called back, I'm scrolling on my phone and looking at dolls. And, you know, it was just, that was all I ever did. Um, and when it came to money, like, instead of buying anything else that I wanted, you know, I would want other stuff and I'd be like, oh, no, I don't need to spend it on that because I want to get another doll. You know, it got to the point to where I didn't want to spend money on anything for myself except for a doll. Like, yeah, I mean, it. like now when I talk about that, I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah, it had really gotten to that point. And so it was the box opening high, but then I got to realizing that the reason why I was going on to the next best thing was because yeah, the box opening was exciting and I loved that. And it's new baby, new baby. And it draws people to your channel and they're coming on to see your new baby. And so congratulations and, you know, all that kind of stuff. That kind of thing is exciting. And it hooked me in. It dug its claws in. I'm telling you, it did. Um, but then when all the, what's the word I'm looking for? The pomp and circumstance was over. And you didn't have all those people saying, oh, congratulations, new baby, new baby, new baby, you know. And you were having to move on to the next. Like, I was having to move on to the next thing because I was ready to have that all over again. And I started recognizing that as an addictive behavior. Like, I was just like, I'm, this is, you know, I don't need to do this. So that's when, you know, I started thinking like, well, why am I getting so many of these babies and give him this little passy it's a um, like a bluish like a cobalt blue I think it goes pretty good with this little outfit and then we got him this little blue bear so um you know I recognized that as it was be it was becoming addicting to me and I was like, why am I not satisfied? Why am I always wanting the next new thing, the next new thing? And then that's when I realized um, it's because, you know, I would tell myself, you know, I really wanted silicone babies and I would tell myself I can't afford those. So I'll just buy a bunch of vinyl babies. But then I started realizing that I wasn't satisfied with a bunch of vinyl babies. And then um, I was selling the, you know, I would go through this buying and selling phase and all that. And so then I... I kept the ones that I had for a while. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to work on building these characters and then working on, and by characters, I mean like my babies in my nursery. Like they each have their own little character and personality and all that. So that's why I ended up with dolls that I'm just now selling that I've had for five years. So I started working more toward 
concentrating on the babies that I really wanted, which was the silicone babies. And so, um, that's what led me to having less and less box openings. And yes, it brought less traffic to my channel and all that, but it was something that I needed to do for me because I realized when, you know, because Kylo and, and Sailor, I had to, I sold several of my dolls to get Sailor and put money with it to get her. So I was really excited to get her. And then she made me realize how much I really, really, really love silicone. So, um, then when I saw Kylo and, you know, cause like I said, I followed Kylo since he was a piece of clay <laughs> to when Kathy was working on him. So, um, when I had to wait, like literally it took me about nine months to get him paid off. So it was literally like about the length of a real pregnancy. And so I realized during that time that I was enjoying my other dolls that I had had for some time a whole lot. And waiting for him was really fun. And so nesting for him and all that, even though he cost more and it took me longer to pay for him, um, I was still enjoying the dolls that I had. And I was enjoying them more because I was spending more time on their characters and their building their personalities and coming up with role plays and things to do with them and, you know, and all that kind of stuff. So when he finally arrived, I realized that I didn't have to have a new box opening all the time to be happy in my hobby and that I would rather have less dolls of this caliber of then more dolls, more vinyl dolls that I wasn't really bonding with or, um, or whatever, you know what I mean? Like it was just an epiphany that came to me. So like, you know, when I got him, not to say I didn't get another new doll after him, cause I actually bought a secondhand doll from Jenny. Um, and then in December I got, uh, my Zoe by Natalie Blick, which is summer. So December of 2022, actually, I think it was like New Year's Eve when I went and picked her up because I live close enough to the artist that I could just go pick her up. And I didn't want, she didn't want to uh, mail UPS and I don't like USPS. I, I would really rather not use it at all uh, because they're just so unreliable. But, um, so anyways, um, Summer was the last brand new doll that I bought. Now I did do a trade. I ended up trading the doll that I bought for Jenny or bought from Jenny to Mandy. And then that doll that I traded for has been sold. So I mean like, you know, adulting things come up in your life and you just have to do it. But anyway, I have sold a lot of my dolls and that's also helped me to realize that I didn't have those attachments and those bonds to those dolls that I thought I would. And the ones that I have recently uh, parted with you know, I, I've had them for a long time, so they've kind of like served their purpose. So they're moving on to the next person. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, Everly's got a new mommy. Her new mommy's paying on her. And then Sailor's got a new mommy. Her new mommy's paying on her. So it's like, um, those are just the, you know, the dolls that even though I loved them very much the whole time I had them, they've served their purpose and so now they're moving on. And then, you know, next year in 2024, I will get new dolls, but it's going to be a lot less frequent because literally the last new doll that I bought myself, which is the doll that where I was the first owner of the doll was summer. That's the last new doll. And that was in December of 2022. And y'all, it's fixing to be 2024. And I have been very happy in my hobby. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's been like, a year since I bought a new doll and guess what I survived <laughs> and not only did I survive but I enjoyed my hobby and yes I did take a long break from social media and doing anything with my hobby but you know I'm back and guess what my dolls that I really love and want are still here too so um I guess I just came to really realize that um I was I was in this very addictive pattern and I had to break it. 
And I feel like I did because now, yeah, I do look at new doll sculpts and I think they're cute and all that. But next year, the dolls that I'm going to be getting are the ones that really, really mean something to me. Like Adeline is going to be coming up by Tasha Edenholm. Love Adeline. I'm keeping her name because I love the name so much, but I'm just putting a middle name with it. Um, she's going to get started sometime in January. I don't know when she's going to be finished, but of course, Selling Sailor helped to pay for her because the money that I got from Selling Sailor went straight to Sandra. So, you know, and Sandra's going to be doing Adeline. So I've already picked out her hair and her eyes. Like, you know, I'm really excited about that. I've already told y'all about all that. Um, and then I do have a couple of vinyl babies in mind. But my main focus is the next silicone baby I want, which is a very special silicone baby. And it's going to be a boy. And so my main focus will be him. And it'll probably be fall of 2024 before anything with him starts happening. So, um, you know, I've put things into priority so that it's not so... Um, addictive what I'm doing but more thought out and uh, more purposeful instead of uh gimme 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 I need to open a box you know that kind of thing so um you know I'm gonna be my sole focus will be on the silicone baby boy once I get Adeline and if the two I have like two vinyls that I really want and if something happens to where I cannot get those done then I'm not gonna stress too much about it because my main focus is going to be on, once, once I get Adeline, it's going to be on the silicone baby boy. And so I don't want to share too much about him, but he, you know, he's for a special reason. And there's a few people that know, but um, I'm going to, you know, keep it a surprise because, you know, I think y'all will are really, uh, you'll really be surprised at who this baby's going to be. So I'll just leave it at that. But anyways, I just wanted to talk about that. You know, that that new box opening high, how, you know, I realized that I really needed to be careful with that because, you know, I spent a lot of money that I would turn around and just, you know, a few months later, I'd be like, I don't want this doll anymore. I'm going to resell it. And then I would lose money because you don't ever resell the doll for what you pay for it, more than likely. Like, it, it doesn't normally happen. Um, and depending on what it is, it really shouldn't happen because it's pre-loved. You know, it's a, it's a used product, so it's not brand new. So unless it's like one of those highly sought after um, kits, you're probably not even going to get your money back out of it, much less make a profit or anything, which I don't think you should try to make a profit off of it. That's just me personally. Um, if I can get back most of what I spent, then I'm doing good. You know what I mean? Like, that's just the way I feel. Um, but it's harder and harder to get that these days because a lot of the highly sought after kits have replicas made of them. So I found out real quick that with summer that it was really hard to to get what I should for her because of all the replicas but anyways I digress I've already talked about that in the last video but um you know so for me I just decided that I needed to reel it in that I needed to take control of that obsessive addictive behavior like oh my gosh Let's move on to the next thing. I need the next new thing. Oh my goodness, I need to open a box. I just need to have this box opening high. Like, and we do that not only with ourselves, but other people. That's why when you don't do as many box openings, I've noticed that my views are have went way down now that I don't have box openings all the time. And, um, and that we do that for others too, because we are not only seeking out our own um, feel good for my box opening. We also seek out other others feel good and we feed off that. And that's why box openings brings lots of traffic to your channel because people are watching those. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing at all. I'm just saying we are attracted to that kind of thing. We like to watch box openings. I love to see people being happy with new babies and um, 
new things that they're adding to their collection. So I'm not calling that a bad thing at all. So please don't take it that way. But it's like, um, you know, we seek that kind of thing out. And um, I've noticed that since I don't have all that, that I don't have the views that I used to have. I mean, I've got over 2,000 subscribers and I cannot tell that my views change at all. Like, I don't know. Um, I see people with a lot less subscribers than me that get a lot more views than me. So, um, you know, I just feel like that I don't have a lot of traffic coming to my channel. But, you know, I get on here to share my hobby and what makes me happy. So that's what's important and what matters the most to me. And that's why it is reflecting in my collecting, in my hobby. That's why you're not seeing a bunch of box openings from me anymore. And that um, you won't be seeing a bunch of box openings from me anymore. Because the, the dolls that I want to add to my collection are going to be ones that really, 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 really mean something to me. And that I really, really, really want. And so those, you know, may be the more expensive dolls that are going to take longer to pay off or whatever. But... I'm going to be super happy with my baby once I get it. Um, and not saying, you know, a few months from now, like, oh my goodness, I'm not bonding with this baby. I need to put it up for sale or whatever. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. Box opening high. How long it's been since I've gotten a new baby? Like, literally a year? That's crazy. And I have been super happy with my hobby. And it's been a year since I bought a new baby. So, I hope you have enjoyed this chat and that you've taken something from it. You know, don't worry about it if you can't keep up with the Joneses. Because I know we all probably kind of feel that way. Like, we might see others that are having lots of box openings and we wish we could too. Or, um, you know, wonder why we don't or whatever. But that used to be me, but I don't wonder that anymore because I know, you know, this is me and this is how I have to do my hobby. And I am very happy for the people who do buy and sell a whole lot. Like, that's that's them doing them. You know, the saying, you do you, boo. That is them doing them. And so I'm happy that they are enjoying their hobby in that way. I'm choosing to enjoy my hobby in a different way. So, and that's okay, because ultimately, your hobby is for you to enjoy the way you need to enjoy it. Anyways, that is it for this video, and I hope you have enjoyed seeing baby Kylo. And I'm going to send some pictures of Kylo dressed in this cute little outfit to Robin so she can see him dressed in it, because she was anxious to see him in it. See y'all in my next video. I hope you have a happy holiday. Bye.